based on your list, we're really not going to allocate any time to talk about the Socratic selling method. If you want to learn a little bit more, there's a four-page white paper at the back of your book that is an overview of what the Socratic selling method is. Essentially, it's asking non-threatening questions that are easy for our customer to answer that help them reveal their emotional or psychological face. Basically, that's it. But on page 11 are several different Socratic probes. I suggest that you add all of these to your toolbox, but particularly the one, the first paragraph where it says for clarification, right next to the word <laughs> clarification, write this down for me. Defining terms. Defining terms. <clears throat> Many of you are already wired to do this, thank goodness. But basically what you're doing, when you ask, uh, what would you say are the two or three most important aspects of this next car buying decision? If they say, the customers will typically say, you know, uh, it's gotta be safe, it's gotta have uh, more room, and it's uh, gotta have, you know, have good performance or whatever, okay? If we immediately launch into safety features, we're doing ourselves and the customer disservice because that's typically what a salesperson does. What I'm gonna suggest that you do is you define terms. And there are several different ways to do, the, to do that. You know, Craig, safety means something a little bit different to everybody. To, uh, to help me better understand where you're coming from, how, how would you describe a safe car? What specifically are you looking for? Uh, a car that would protect my family to the, to the, the best, I want, I want to drive the safest car that I possibly can and sacrifice nothing uh, when it comes to that. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but you're looking for um, 360 airbags, I'm assuming, lots of airbags, mm -hmm. crush zones, mm -hmm. fire retardant interior, things, things that, God forbid, if you're in an accident, but would help you and your three kids and wife survive the accident. Absolutely. Okay, Th those are called passive safety features. Uh, I'd be happy to cover those with you. There's another set of safety features called active safety features. Uh, things like uh, visibility, or blind spots, anti-lock brakes, um, flexible sidewalls for the contact patch. You know, things that help you and your family avoid the accident altogether. With your permission, I'd like to share both of those with you. Sure. Okay, now, time out. Now I can launch and do the exact same, same spiel I do about safe, feature benefit, about safety, as I do with everybody else. The difference is, this time, Craig is going to think it's tailored to him specifically. Simply because I took the time to find out how he defines safety. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. 